Hi, I'm George Castro, and this is going to be a short screencast on how to use the Ubuntu Stack Exchange, uh, the new question and answer website to get us better support for our Ubuntu users when they ask questions on how to use Ubuntu. So, um, first things first is the URL is going to be ubuntu.stackexchange.com here. Um, the current theme looks very uh, drafty because uh, we're currently in beta, so the site isn't finished yet. Um, Ubuntu runs on the Stack Engine, which runs Stack Overflow, part of the Stack Exchange network. Here's what a finished site looks like. Um, and I'm going to go over some of the reasons why you should use the Stack Exchange, um, because the system really is designed to help get the best answers to the questions out there. So first thing I do is I, um, is I uh, go to the site, and then I'm going to cl click on Login here. And then here, since the site uses OpenID, I can just use my launchpad.net um, OpenID. Currently, this is uh, not very easy to figure out, but that's something that we're working on. And I'll go ahead and log in. And I'll go through the typical launchpad OpenID stuff. Okay, so now I'm in. You can tell I'm logged in here. This tells me what my reputation is. Uh, which I'll get to later, and the badges that I've earned for giving people su support. So, um, basically, this default viewer shows you the active questions. These are questions that users are asking. Um, I've got a few example ones that I've picked out that I'll go over here with you. So, I'm going to look at some of the hot ones for the week here. So, here's a question that someone asks that is a common question. Um, my processor is an Intel Core 2 Duo. As far as I know, it's 64-bit, but it's called AMD 64. What's up with that? So the guy asked this question, and um, he's given some good amount of detail here. So what I've done is I've clicked up um, on here because I believe it's a useful question to ask. Um, and what that does is that gives uh, that person a little bit of reputation there to kind of thank them for contributing a good question. If a question is bad, you can also vote it down or... Uh, you can click the star to mark it as a favorite. Now, after he asked this question, a whole bunch of people started to answer um, almost immediately. Now, um, what happens is, is as users come to this site and they have enough reputation, they look at all the answers and then they vote on the ones that are the best answers. And then the person that asked the question can click a green check mark next to what he feels is the best answer. So here, this person, Giles, um, gave uh, links to you know Wikipedia on what exactly x8664 and why things are and all of that stuff. There are other answers. For example, this answer is, is pretty good, but not as um, detailed as this one. So that's probably why this one got as many votes. Um, and then, of course, here you have comments that people leave in between. Now, the great thing about this is that it sorts the answers based on the amount of votes. So it's almost impossible to have a conversation like it is in forums where um, someone might give different information later on. This system is designed not to make uh, linear conversations easy. However, there is a commenting system for people to say things, um, to leave little comments and things like that. But luckily it hides, after a certain amount of comments, it, it starts to hide them and then eventually the good answer filters to the top, which is what people want. The intent here is to answer people's questions um, as good as possible and for people to continually edit their answers. So that's an example of one. Um, so now you'll see that the questions use these tags here. Now these are moderated by um, the moderators of the site. There's currently four of them. And you can highlight interesting tags that are important to you or ignore tags that you don't really care about. So most of the popular tags are specific versions or things like that. So that, that's pretty handy there. You can also talk about the site um, on the meta site, which I'll get to in a second. But there's also links to the FAQ. Now the FAQ, uh, the FAQ explains exactly how the site works. So it's what kind of questions are good or not. Um, you know, a link to the code of conduct, things like that, how to ask good questions, how the reputation system works. So um, with the questions, the, the more questions you ask and the better answers you give, people plus uh, up your questions and answers. And over time, your reputation goes up. That's what the, this number is. 
And this number is basically how much people trust you. Um, so these are questions that I've answered that people uh, thought were good answers, so they voted me up. And over time, the more reputation you have, the more rights you have on this site. So you can start to edit uh, tags and things like that. So here, for example, is another question. This gentleman was asking which is better, Network Manager, which is what we ship by default, or this other thing called Wicked. I answered the question, and then on top of that, uh, one of the our Network Manager maintainer for Ubuntu, and he also contributes upstream, is Mat Matthew. And what he did is he a answered with more detail. Um, so what I did is I went ahead and grabbed his information, edited my answer to make it better and more complete, and then of course. Um, attributed both of the people there so that they get uh, the, the proper recognition. All the content on here is licensed CC by SA, so it, it's freely uh, consumable, things like that. When people are asking about the site itself, there's Ubuntu Meta, which is uh, the link up here, which takes you to basically the same version of this, uh, except for the site itself. So this is where you ask questions on how we run the actual Stack Exchange. So here's a question about uh, when people are answering questions, do we want the dollar sign in there or not because we want to make it easier for people to paste, things like that. And that basically runs the exact same way um, uh, as the site itself. Now when you ask questions, um, it does a really good job of doing um, uh, dupe detection and all, all the kinds of things that would be useful you. So really what you can do is after you get a little bit of reputation, and you can try to game the system but it doesn't really let you, um, is you can spend time just sitting on the site looking at questions that don't have answers, uh, which these are always going to end up being the difficult ones. Here's a question I've answered. Um, or something you can do is look at questions and vote on answers. So for example, uh, let me find one here. This gentleman asked why you couldn't uh, paste into a terminal. I thought it was a good question, so I gave it up. That gives him a little reputation for asking a good question. And then Marco here did a really great job with a very detailed answer. And some other people did too, but as you can see, his is a little bit easier to read and, and things like that. So that's why he got voted up. So over time, the people who are the experts on Ubuntu get the reputation. Here's Ollie here with his answer. And over time the good answers start to float to the top, which is what we want. So that's a small tour of the uh, Stack Exchange. Um, you can go to it at ubuntu.stackexchange.com and just start participating by asking questions and giving people good answers, and then let the system work, um, and the good stuff will float to the top, and the junk will fall to the bottom. Thanks for listening.